Welcome to I Love Stocks. There's three tickers I want to talk about today, but first, please subscribe, ring that bell for future updates, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. But I want to talk about Piton. I think we still can be bullish on it, but we are starting to hit a resistance level where we'll start to kind of round up to the top and maybe start pulling back a little bit for support. I also want to talk about a review that I did uh, Thursday, I think, on Ino and EKSO that were pretty accurate on the pullbacks. We did have a pretty bad day on Friday. As you noticed, the Dow went down. Um, let me find my little Dow thing here. Dow Jones was down about 730 points. The SPY was down pretty much 2.38%. QQQ and the IWM, I keep them on watch all the time. I like looking at the slash ES when I'm comparing it to the SPY. And so we're going to keep all these on watch for this coming week. Also, you know that there's been a pickup in coronaviruses here down in Texas, Florida, and more in California. So we're going to be keeping a good eye on that also. We're thinking that the market might still be in a bearish kind of consolidated area next week compared to the pullbacks that we've had last week. So we might have another little pullback and then start consolidating for the rest of the week, but total confirmed 10,028,614 with a global death rate of 499,599. So yeah, we're going to be checking it out. We'll go straight to Piton. Let's take a good look at it right here. Peloton. Peloton's been on a great tear. It's a cocooning play. People have not been going to the gym. They've been working from home. I think this still has a lot, little bit more room to run. It's had a pretty nice run. I mean, it's up over 100%. But they do have the bike. They have the treadmill. They have the apps, which I think 1.4 million people are subscribed to. They have the accessories in apparel, too. And let's go straight to the news and see if we can find anything in the news. We definitely see the top headline saying investors at Crossroads as Coronas halts reopenings so kind of that means we're going to put a little ranch in the spokes and we saw that last week and we're going to probably see that a little bit this week i also think that this second news article is something that really we ought to think about that peloton can keep rising even after cronus because rich people won't want to go back to the gym and that's what this analyst says and i kind of have to agree with him his next target is $65, and I'm going to agree with that too. So let's go ahead, and there's one more thing here that I wanted to pull check out. And it, takes, it can take up to 11 weeks to get a Peloton bike. Why is that good news for the stock? Well, Corona. You know, we don't want to spread the Coronas. So it takes, you know, you order one now, maybe in about 11 weeks. There'll be another relapse of this coronas, and it'll start dying down. And But I think everything is related to corona. So let's go ahead straight into the chart, and that's going to be Piton on the yearly. We'll pull up the yearly here with my yearly moving averages. I like to use the 200, the 50, and also the 20 EMA on the same chart. And I can follow that 20 EMA. You can see how we followed it all the way up right here. And we did have a golden cross probably on Piton, but I don't see that 200 on here one bit. So I don't know why that's why that's happening. Probably because it hasn't been an IPO long enough. But we're going to try to find some support levels. We had a beautiful breakout right here, right around the $49 level. And I'm going to put that... I can't get that right. Right there at 49.02. We have another little breakout right here. You could call it right down here, right about 49.98. Then we had that other one right here that I really like, this support level at 51. You know, I think I kind of like that well enough to call that my very low, low, strong buy support. So I'm going to mark that up in a red line. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to okay it right here. So now we get into the breakout that we had last week. We're going to go ahead and put a little chalk line right in here at 53. 
I'm going to put another one right up here at the top of this candle wick at 5488. Then I'm going to have another because I like really like this spot right here. So I'm going to call this my my solid support that I would like to see hold to keep the continue of the run. And I'll maybe show you the trend line where I think it, it can do it. But then the next resistance level is going to be right here at 56.44. And then we've got that right here at 58.07 that needs to hold. We're going to bring this up to the 20 day now. This is different moving averages. We've got we've got the 200, we've got the 100, we've got the 34, and we've got the 9. I see a resistance level to break right here at 90, 59, 34, 59.31. I got to turn this back up to this. With a resistance level right there at 60. Whoop. Let me change that. I'm going to put that at 60. Okay, this is how I'm going to call this play out. And then we got another support level right down here. Low strong buy right down here, right around the 50% 50, 50 retracement mark. As you can see, it's right around the 50, $51 level. That's going to be a low strong buy. The pivot point in that channel is going to be right here, right around 54.88. So that's going to be your third support. That's what I like to see hold, or it could drop down to this one right here, right at 53. But basically, if we can keep this up, we've had a couple sharp sell-offs in the morning pre-market. This could happen again. If it holds this support level right here, you'll be fine. And I'm going to draw this channel in here that I like. For the retracement back up right in there in that channel right there between 5644 and 5698 that's going to be kind of like a hard support area if it blow, breaks below that we'll go down to the pivot point area of 5488 I'm trying to talk about a channel in here that I want it to kind of consolidate in. If it does break past and runs up to 62 or 65, expect it to pull back to this $60 level and then maybe have some more pullbacks. But for right now, we're bullish on it. I play it as it pulls back. That's how I'm going to play it. If it pulls back and finds support in one of my trend lines, I'll play the bounce back up and probably scalp it from here on out. Piton. We are hitting a resistance level. I see it kind of rounding off as it goes up to around a little below 65, maybe a little bit sooner, and pull back and try to find some support and build a consolidated period. So the next one I want to talk about is going to be two stocks that I talked about over the weekend, Ino and EKSO. So let's go ahead and pull up the chart. Let's go ahead and pull up, yeah, there we go. I know had some pretty good news on it, or EKSO had some pretty good news on it. They had FDA approval for uh, brain uh, treatment patients to use the Eco Health system, the Eco Bionics. So I think this was a real good catalyst that brought this stock up to where it is today, and I'm very impressed, very impressed with it. So let's look at the news, see if we can find anything else in here. That could cause this stock to maybe run up a little bit better. Why is this stock training higher today? Okay, this is why because EKSO Bionic shares soars after company gets FDA clearance to use robotic exoskeleton in required brain injuries. Just you know, people are going to be able to walk as long as they can push in buttons and get that thing to going. That's just a real good, real good thing. I think this can start to consolidate in these higher highs that we've had right here and it could be a good scalper it did have um, an offering the closing of an offering that happened about 18 days ago of a little under 8 million so that did close and that's some more good news for the stock that kept it and i don't think the offerings are going to hurt that much because this is a stock that's in high demand and let's go ahead and go straight to the to the chart and we're going to look at this stock ekso Let's look at the yearly first. 
Now, if you watched the, the video last uh, Thursday on this, you could see it pulled back right where I said it was going to pull back to. And I found a little support level right down there at the 844. So let's go ahead and I had 866, if I remember correctly, on the chart. And I've already erased all these lines, so if you'd like to go back to the video, you could watch that. Actually, I had on EKSO, I had an uh, 868 support level with a 725 low support. And we're going to go ahead and chalk this in right here. I'm thinking maybe now it's going to be right around the 725 area. You see what I'm talking about when I had this pullback and then we had this this daily candle right over here but I'm going off this and matching it up with this candle that we had on the daily upon Thursday we have a little resistance level right here at 999 and I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit lower In fact I'm gonna magnify this candle so I can see it a little bit better right at 999 if it breaks past that 10 we're gonna get new buyers if not we can pull back some but I really liked how it pulled back on Friday. Let's see if I can find any other trends in here. We're going to go ahead and draw that in there, and we're going to draw this one right down here. You know, these charts change as I go. We're going to pull this up to the 20-day now, to the EMAs. EKSO. We're on the 20-day chart. we got a support level right here at 673. I'd like to maybe bring this down just a little bit, so I'm going to clear this drawing, remove it. I'm going to adjust this trend line to these candlesticks right here. That's going to be like a little support area. Then we got another one right here. So if it pulls back more, we could see a 672. And I'm going to play the stock. I, I, I play it if it dips and it's, I see some kind of indicator where the stock starts to bounce back up. So I'm finding a real low support down here at 672, no lower than that. I would love to see if it pulls back to that, I'd jump right in this trade and maybe take it back up if the momentum's there. So I'm going to definitely put a red line there at the 672 area that's going to be low strong buy your first probably pivot point your retracement bounce and I'll show that here so you had your 50 percent retracement right down around in here on this trend line at 725 so that's another possibility on the 20 day one hour chart and that's going to be your third support your second one's going to be here at 783 and then your first one's right here at 816 if it decides to go ahead and retrace on up, you could scalp these trades. This is like a, this is the kind of condition where I get into scalping and day trading and just trying to get in and out as fast as I can, unless I see something different or it pulls out. We've had a beautiful run on this. Just take that in consideration. It's almost a 400% run in one day. So we've got to pull back. We've got to pull back. And I think this 672 could be the low strong support to hold and then have a retracement back up into this channel. And if we do break this channel right here, it can break up into these resistance levels. And that 1062 is going to be your hard resistance to break. And then if that breaks that, then you have these other two that you can follow up. And maybe we can break that double top at 1158. But for right now, I'm looking at 672 for a strong buy. For a retracement scalp or a day trade back up to the resistance levels of you know I'll take a dollar I'll take it 50 cent intervals but for right now I think we can if we do pull back 672 that'll be a strong buy and that's going to be EKSO then our final one that I want to talk about and I hope you watched that video that I did Thursday because you'd be very impressed with this one too on the pullback that I did that I did call and that's going to be INO. Now, Centron came out here and, and, and opened up their mouth and decided they were going to go ahead and short it. And actually, it, when the news came out, it actually had a big old bump. But then it did kind of pull back. So, you know, they could have been right. You know, any time a stock breaks out like this, you're going to have a pullback. It's just natural. It doesn't take Centron to tell you that. But 
let's go ahead and look at see if there's any news on 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 this stock right now on ino that makes me kind of satisfied i'll pull up i think i pulled up the website investors and media you know you can always come in here and see what kind of stuff they got going on what kind of news they got going on you got your news releases what i liked about this one right here i know is that big contract they got from the u.s Department of Defense to scale up manufacture of Celetra 3PSP smart device for procurement of the Celetra 2000 for COVID-19 DNA vaccine. So that was real good news and that was the catalyst that brought this stock up was that contract deal. And I was very impressed in how this run came. So let's go ahead and see if there's anything else in the wire here that kind of throws me off a little bit. How does the future hold for a pharmaceutical? They've been cutting their estimates. So analysts are cutting their estimates. So maybe we are going to have a little pullback. You know, the stock pulls back to 20-year high. Even the long-time bulls say it's less platable after a recent rally. Okay. So are we going to get another pullback again? We might now have to read some of this news. Stock is a winner it's because valuations get stretched. I ain't seen much good news coming out of it, but I sure like that defense contract they got. So I don't know. Let's look at the chart and see where we can go from this one. I know. We'll look at the yearly. I'll tell you if we're ready for another pullback or not. It's had a beautiful real run, that's for sure. At 3379, I got 3373. Did have a pullback on Friday, so let's go ahead and pull up the daily. We have low support down here, right around the 1875 area. So I'd almost consider 1891. I'm gonna put a red line on that one. This is a kind of trade you just gotta watch it and wait for the trend which way it's gonna go. But that 1891 looks to me like it's pretty solid support. We did have some nice engulfing candles right here. And then we've kind of had this candle right here, and I'm not too I'm not too gummy on it. I think we can pull back to this lower support level of 2533 maybe or somewhere in this channel of support. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, a little wider. It also depends on how the market's going to run. I'm going to change this into a black line. bring this up just a little bit higher no I think that's gonna be it so I've got a low support right down here right around 2124 let's see if I can turn this into a black line too let's just leave it Twenty-one ninety-four with the pivot point area in this channel of twenty-three eighty-nine to back to a resistance level of twenty-five thirty-three. Now, if this pulls back and holds this top support level of twenty-five thirty-three, we can scalp it back up to these channels up here. If not, it'll pull back to this lower support of twenty-one ninety-four, and maybe scalp it in that channel right there between twenty-one ninety-four and twenty-five thirty-three, or. We pull back to the strong buy here at 1891, which is close to the 50% retracement on the yearly chart. So let's kind of look at the 20 day. Let's change this to the 20 day and see if I see anything that I might have missed. I see 127 something right here. But I think that's just a, could just kind of pull back right there and break. We do have a descending pattern, but it also kind of opened up with higher lows. So we could be breaking out or we could kind of get an initial pullback to this lower support channel and play that trend. 
but if it holds right here like I said at 2533 we can bring it back up to these resistance levels and that's going to be INO keep a good watch on it I like the stock the analysts are bashing it pretty hard right now but we're going to keep a good eye on it keep a good eye on EKSO and also Piton I'm going to pull it back up to the website and I always like to remind people we do have a, links over here on the left on the right side hit that follow button this is our Twitter link and also if you go back to the website Vegas and I have got our Twitter stock twit pages on here you can follow us on here and also get future updates of tickers that we're talking about all day and if you even wanted to try to join the room that would be great we offer a $20 week trial and you can sign up right here under pricing and it'll take you to the 20 week trial or it's fifty dollars a month and then Miss Vegas she has a three session class six hundred drive dollars and it's private coaching so yeah you can do that too but for right now we do have the 20 week trial and we have the 50 month trial after you join and that's going to be about it be sure to subscribe ring that bell hit that like button and uh, have a great trading week next week. Remember, just always play with caution in the pandemic. I love stocks.